Good morning, um, so my name's Krista, I'm part of the gardeners team here at Beth Chateaus. Um, we're back in the woodland garden this morning um, and I thought I'd talk to you this morning about biennials that we have around the woodland and perhaps some others that um, are around the other, the other gardens. Um, so biennials, just to explain those, those are plants that in the first year they'll put on their they'll seed, they'll put on their vegetative growth, they'll put on their roots and they'll just stay basically as like a rosette or or their vegetative state, so non-flowering, just leaves. Um, and they'll stay like that throughout the year. The following year then, they'll flower up and they'll set seed. They'll drop their seeds so that the following year they can start the process all over again. Um, in front of us now, we've got quite a nice array of Lanaria annua, which is the annual honesty. Um, as you can see, they've got some lovely white flowers they're very tall in this garden one of the reasons that our honesty's come up quite high is because actually we don't disturb them so once they've set seed they stay um, and that's how they get this height we were asked about this yesterday um, so yeah so they they're a lovely plant um, they've got some lovely toothed leaves here that you can see and they're just a really nice show stopping plant as I said, nice and high in this in the woodland area. So the other thing to say about the um, Lunaria or the Honesty, as it's common name, is that here in the in the woodland garden, obviously we've got this lovely white colour, which really really flashlights effectively in in this garden because of the shade and the canopy. And um, we keep these in the we keep these white ones in the woodland garden. You'll find there's purple ones in other parts of the garden like the reservoir garden and the water garden but what we do is we do keep the two species separate um, and the other thing to say about these is their seed heads so as beautiful as they are actually when they set seed and you've got these lovely little oval seed pods they look really really lovely so there's interest there even after the flower has died away here we have the smyrnium perfoliatum um, this is a really lovely plant but it does get confused with the euphorbia and um, again it's another biennial um, and what you've got is the lower leaves quite dark and coming up you've got this really nice green zesty leaf but the actual flowers are actually really quite insignificant although they're quite limey they're really quite insignificant so the most you see with this is the foliage um, but it is a lovely plant and again this will flower it will die down, it will set seed and it will die down and then you get the basal growth um, for next year and then it will, it will follow the cycle. Um, one of the things to say within the garden is that we sort of edit out, so although we let the seedlings go, we will edit out some of those seedlings to give other seedlings room to grow. Um, it was Beth's term, some of us will say weeding or just general gardening but Beth always called it editing um, and so basically the reason for that is to allow other things to come up um, and so there's not so much competition within the garden 